Well, hello everybody, how are you, how are you? Yes, my name is Wayne, if you can still understand what I'm saying. And you're still watching Inside Filmhorn. Right now, you're looking at some very interesting artwork. And I have a feeling besides this, there might be some other things that you can help out people with and get involved with. And this young lady over here, who you may <laughs> recognize for a million years by now. From here up. From here up. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. I am Liz Maresca, and you probably know me best from the food pantry. Well, look, there's a lot of things going on on so many different levels, up and down. There's <laughs> so many things going on. <laughs> yes. But we want to maintain some kind of nor normal world. Yeah. And during this holiday season, there's a few things that we can still help people with. Sure. Let's talk about some of those. What, what, what don't I just All open right. up with here first? So, so one of the other hats I wear is I'm also a member of the Fairland Arts Council. So one of the things that we wanted to do this year is do something special for the community, some holiday greetings, uh, things that people, we, we couldn't bring people together, obviously. So what we decided to do is kind of do these little wooden tiles and people could come in and decorate them and then hang them up all over town. So not just here at the uh, at, at Borough Hall, you can hang them up by your house, you can hang them up in the park. So what you can do is, I have the supplies here. So people can make them themselves. Is that what yeah, you're so what you do is, Borough Hall right now is closed to the public, but if you come into the Parmalee Ave side of the building, there is a little button outside with a speaker. <laughs> and we're making sure that you see everything we're <laughs> talking about, folks. We're not going to take any chances. That's right. Yes, but that's so, actually very important. That is very important. So if you ring the bell, just tell them that you're picking up the supplies for the uh, art project. They will let you in, and this table has your art supplies. So you are welcome to take one of these little wooden squares. It is one per resident, uh, not you know one per person, one per resident. Uh, so if you have a household of a couple of people, you are welcome to take them. You have. Instructions. Instructions. Okay, this is for hanging purposes. And this is for hanging purposes. Oh, wait, hold on, put those ones. Wait, hold on. Oh, the little ones, little baby ones. Little baby ones are hard to clip, so I put in the big ones for those of us who are not as. I, I, would, never, <laughs> I would never get the little one to work. My fingers. Yeah, that. that's that's why I gave you options. So these so, are scattered throughout the town in so different yeah. stores, businesses, or yeah. Homes? And you do what you want. You can paint them. You can color them. You can bedazzle them. Whatever you want to do. Um, any holiday greeting, any greeting really, you'll see we have peace on earth, we have stay cool, so it doesn't even need to be holiday-ish, just something something that we can kind of spread some joy around. Well, it's not really a scavenger hunt, this is just something that's going to be displayed once it's up, it's yeah. up there through the rest I of the I tell holiday. people, yeah, I tell people it's kind of like the rocks that you'll see around town, people paint the rocks right, with right. words on them, so kind of the same concept, but... Uh, and this is being sponsored by who? The Fairlawn Arts Council. You guys do so many cool things. And we try. Well, you do. We and try. I, Hopefully and I, 2021 will be able to do a lot more cool things. Well, I also think something like that is very really helpful for the soul. Yes. Uh, we yeah, want to keep our minds a little bit fresh, and something like this as a positive energy mm -hmm. is certainly very important. I wonder if I could get away and do some of These look really good. <laughs> They're probably like by, by a 10 year old, and I'm not going to get close to this. That one's mine. This, you, seriously? That's mine. Yep, I made that one. Happy everything. Yeah, well, you're artistic. That's, <laughs> that's not fair. All right, now this is just one thing that's happening. Well, that's one thing that's over happening. Here. So let me run over here. So the other thing that's going on in Borough Hall. See how nice she did that? Yeah. Jog over here. Yes, the what? other thing that's going on at Borough Hall is we are still collecting for the food pantry. We still have over 40 families coming in. So this is our food bin. As soon as you come in that door that we just showed you how to get in, again, ring that bell, tell them you're dropping off for the food pantry, and they will let you in. You pop the bag in here, and we will get it. These, yep. these eventually will be distributed to the uh, some of the families here in town? Yes, absolutely. So we have volunteers that will go through them, sort them, put them on our shelves, and once a week we make up bags for, like I said, over 40 families, and our driver drops them off uh, every week. Is there something that they should be aware of about what types of stuff to get again? So non-perishable foods, uh, check those expiration dates, please. Right, right. Uh, non-perishable foods, meaning shelf-stable foods, uh, personal items, shampoos, soaps, deodorant, toothpaste, and then the most important thing, cleaning supplies. Ah. Um, unfortunately, I cannot buy bulk cleaning supplies for the food pantry, but if everybody buys one or two extra and pops them in there, I end up with 40 of them in no time. Now, what's the time frame about people stopping by here to do that? So I ask for people to come Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30, just so we don't overwhelm the police department. They obviously have a lot of other important things to do. Yes. So if you can come during the week uh, and just, do, like I said, just stop in, put them in the bin, and uh, we will get them. 
Um, there are people around town. If you go on Facebook, uh, there are people. Uh, Free Cycle has been great with uh, people who are willing to pick up at your house. So if you just kind of go on there and leave a note, say I have some donations, there are people who are willing to pick up for us. And we're at the beginning of December, but we're going to go along with this for quite a while, I would imagine. The food pantry is here to... Uh, 365 days a year, so we never you, stop. I think, I think for you, it's 366 days a year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like 466 this year has been. So we are here all year round, so definitely drop off those donations. Uh, even after the holidays, we are still collecting. i got to ask you a question. You yes. mentioned some of the things, but some of these things that are crossed off. So some of these things that are crossed off. Just to we, make sure this is important. Yes, we do not take uh, supplies, office or school supplies. We do that over the summer before school starts. We do not accept clothes or used toys, fresh items. These bins, we do not empty right away. So please don't put fresh stuff in here. It's a little scary when that happens and we find them a no, week no later. No frozen foods either. I'll so no frozen it. foods either. Um, you know, turkeys. Oh, is that a frozen just, turkey? Yeah, so just call me first. Um, I may be able to take them, but you have to call me first, and I know we'll cover my phone number in a bit. So those items should not be left in here. So just the non-perishables, the personal, and the cleaning supplies. As we're getting ready to go on to something else here, I know yes. we have a lot of people that are volunteers to help out. A yeah. little shout out to them. Always. My volunteers, I cannot do it without them. So I do have volunteers. If you are interested in volunteering, again, hang out for a second. We're going to get to my email and phone number. Please email me or call me. And uh, right now I don't need uh, volunteers, but I always keep the phone numbers and, and email addresses in case I do in the future. Okay, I think this is great. And one more thing we want to touch and take a couple steps One right more thing in our lobby is these toys. The PBA every year does a toy drive and uh, new unused toys uh, can go in these bins. Again, ring that bell, tell them you're dropping off toys. So this, I believe, is until October, uh, nope, let's try that again, December 18th. I think October passed. <laughs> October passed. It's been a really long year. Oh, it feels, yes, it feels like October. <laughs> <laughs> so December, I think December 18th, but I have a funny feeling you will have somebody who will uh, definitely clear that up for us. But toys can be dropped off here at Borough Hall as well, and we already have some cool stuff. Good. So uh, definitely, if you have some toys to bring, the PBA definitely appreciates it. And folks, I want you to know that in a little while, I'll actually be uh, heading over to the uh, Exxon station. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank our special friend, Dan, and I believe uh, Brian, or one of our police officers here, is working together with this. This is an annual thing. I think they've been doing this for a million years also. A lot of smiles on faces, which is great. So mm -hmm. stay with me after Liz. I'm going to go over there. But Liz, in the meantime, should somebody out there wish to reach us, how can we do that? So what you can do is my phone number is 201-794-5333. Or my email, which is the best way to get me, is hhs at fairlawn.org. So again, that is hhs. Harry, Harry, Sam. Harry, Harry, Sam. hhs at fairlawn.org. Send me an email and I will be able to... Give me a uh, shout out with the phone number again to you. Phone number 201-794-5333. Liz, a tip of my hat to you as Thank always you. and all the people that are helping you out doing this. It's yes. a thing, folks. As a reminder, let's decorate our town. You can get the supplies and all the things here. And Liz really made that one over there. <laughs> okay, and don't forget to make sure that you try to think of all our neighbors and people in need mm -hmm. all year round, but especially now and this yep. time of year. Absolutely. You may have to get back to work. I do. And folks... I'm going to be heading out over here, so stay with me. Don't go away. Another helpful adventure. Well, folks, we just saw we spent some time with Liz over at Town Hall. We talked about a lot of the necessary items for the food pantry, as well as special little arts project they're working on. And you notice I talked about a toy drive. And these guys, I am now on a location for our toy drive. Just to let you know, we are here at the Exxon. You, everybody knows the Exxon. First of all, thank you all for doing this. I know how much you love to be in front of my camera and talk. I know that very much. Let me do a little introduction. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Daniel Sewell, Rodburn Exxon. Michael Bryan, Fairland PD. Well, we also have to acknowledge Eric Ellisowicz, Fairland Police. Gerard Graziano, Fairland Police. And a good guy. Israel Hernandez. Toy Joy. Some feedback on this, Dan. So this is our 15th year doing this here in, in town. Um, we've had great success every year. We're hoping this year is better than the last. 
And I understand that we're getting involved with all ages. Give me some idea what you're looking for. So, in addition to what we ask for every year with the unwrapped new toys for the kids, we're kind of looking for some uh, older age toys, if possible, um, to befit the, the kids that are in their younger teens. So, we're definitely looking for that. And, and also, with everything, all the struggles and challenges that this year has given uh, wonderfully to us, uh, we need gift cards, folks. We need gift uh, cards, shop right cards, Best Buy cards. Um, you know, uh, whatever. Amazon Food, cards. Amazon cards. Stuff that we can use as gifts for the older kids. And equally as important, we need to get gift cards uh, to the families for food, for clothing, and anything that we can, you know, oh, help wow. them out with. It, it's, it's unbelievable this year with the challenges. Um, in 15 years of doing this, I've never seen uh, the issues with these folks that are having hard times locally. I, we've always worked with the churches and organizations and they've gotten you know folks that have uh, contacted the organizations for help but this year we're getting phone calls to our voicemail direct phone calls saying listen this is who we are you know I lost my job because of COVID my I have one lady her husband's deployed in the military and she's got a four-year-old I go on and on and it's a first for 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 us uh, that I can remember where we're getting direct phone calls on top of the organizations contacting us for help so folks we you gotta come down please 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 I don't care five dollars ten dollars whatever you can afford I know it's very tough times I know we're all in this together but come down to the Radburn Exxon please drop off your unwrapped toys think about the older kids gift cards you know go right to CVS go right to Walgreens go right to ShopRite go wherever whatever is most convenient for you and every single dollar 100 percent of every single toy and dollar that comes in is going to go to families in need and kids in need. Now, is it true you guys took one of the toys that you have at home to, to donate to this? Isn't that one of the things that you play with at home, right? Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. Too, I mean, Aqua is good. How do you feel about getting involved with this? It's it's great. You know, now more than ever to echo what Officer O'Brien said with with everything that's going on in the world, things are crazy, and uh, you know, people are hurt. So like, this year, it's very important to get involved. And I have to touch base and say hi to you because I cover a lot of community events. And most of the time you talk to me, you're always there. Your thoughts about being involved with this, too? Well, it's a great cause. Uh, again, Officer O'Brien, just to reiterate what he said, it's a great cause. Helps a lot of families in need, helps a lot of organizations in need. Uh, you know, in, in, in times like this, where it's 2020 and we've had the year that we've had, um, yeah. what better way to help families uh, that have been in you know, so much struggling than uh, to do a toy drive for them? Now, Dan, let me ask you this. First of all, just your thoughts about this being another special event. Well, I'll tell you, again, we need everybody's help this year. Very, very important. We're all working super hard to make this year more successful than last. So again, please come down to the Exxon station here or the Borough Hall and drop off your gift cards or unwrapped toys. And How often can they, what are the hours to do that here? You can do it here from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. seven days a week. Do they have to like maybe check in someplace to do it or? You can hand it to any of the employees here at Radburn Exxon and we'll welcome them. Okay, great. Gentlemen, your thoughts? I know you're happy to be part of this too. That's one of the things that you play with at home, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> the police department, some of our local merchants and some of our friends, we know how to get together and help people. Absolutely. And as you, as you mentioned, officer, it's not a normal year. No. Let's try to keep some of the normalcy that helps people intact. Yep. Tip of my hat to you folks, toy drive. It's gonna help a lot of people in a lot of other ways too. Thank you all. And I'm gonna keep on walking around so everybody stay with me as Inside Fairlawn does continue.